How's it going, everybody? This is Mike. Mr. Tiny Timmons, now I'm back again with a new episode of Tiny Home Tuesday, where on Tuesdays I showcase a particular park model tiny home coming in at 399 square feet that we have available right here at Recreational Resort Cottages. And this Tuesday, I'm bringing to you the Sedona. I am back again with a all new episode of Tiny Home Tuesday. And yes, you are in for a very special treat because I'm back again with a new floor plan here at Recreational Resort Cottages by the name of the Sedona. So this particular model has no porch, but I promise you, without the porch, you're still getting all the grandeur feel that you are looking for and that you need and expect from Recreational Resort Cottages. This home, as you see it, it's 13 feet wide, 30 feet long, and on sale today for 116 k That is today, not next year, not next week. It's today in 2022. So I'm letting you know that the Sedona is not going to be here long because somebody's gonna snatch this up once you see the inside and all this home has to offer. But starting here on the exterior, we have a dark gray lap siding, we have board and bat accents in white, and we have white trim and fascia. And to top it all off, we have a Gavaloon metal roof. We have a side door entry, and you'll see why that is so important when we walk into the home. But this home right here again is the Sedona, and I'm telling you guys, this is one that you do not want to miss. So follow me inside, so that way I can showcase everything that the Sedona has to offer. As soon as you come inside, you'll see here, you get a whiff of the aroma. Woo! Makes you want to spend your money on the Sedona. I'm telling you, come in right here, and the open, airy vibe is what you're going to feel in the Sedona. With that side entry, you get to utilize all this area right here where a front door would normally go, and now you have windows to look out onto your property, look out onto the water, the lake view, a pond, I don't care what you're looking at, you can look at whatever you wish right here in the Sedona. We've complemented it with three standard windows down low, three transoms up top, and the same goes for the opposite wall here, where you have all of this natural light coming in. And what we've done is paired it with the shiplap walls and then the pine stained ceilings that you'll see here. We have a ceiling fan centered. We have four can lights here. And we have the space here where you can accommodate your furniture, have your placement here, and then directly across, we have the area for your TV. We've got the built-in LED fireplace there that does put off heat. We kept the ship lap going in white, and we've even paired it with three transoms up top. So doing that still allows you space for a TV down below, but still adds that aesthetic curb appeal that you're looking for on the interior and exterior. And as you see, coming from this area, we go right into the kitchen, which is separated by this elevated bar area. We have this elevated bar, which gives you adequate space to accommodate stools down below. We even have the shiplap accent there in white, but what ties it all together is this, this dark blackish gray countertop. It's a mix of the two, so I don't want to give one color over the other because you've got hints of both and hues of both in the home. So you'll see that right there on the countertop. And as you make it around, it lowers here and you have all of your prep space here as well. And you have the black finish on your detachable sprayer, your inverted sink right there that is actually dipped in. So you have the smooth countertop here. And when I say this, guys, this is a great characteristic is that we have the tile backsplash going there up to the bottom of the bar and also up to the bottom of the cabinets where we have the 42 inch cabinets. We even have these small transoms up top and look at the difference in the elevation from the living room roof 
line and the ceiling line into the kitchen. So you can even see we have a pair of two pendant lights that are strung up there just waiting to hang down. We kept them tied up because this home again isn't going to last long. So we've got it strapped up there because it's ready to be transported down the road. But what I love as well is the U-shaped kitchen. You get to utilize things like this built-in dishwasher right here. So you have that space for that. And why lose the space with this little extra right here between the stove? Might as well add a cabinet door there. You see, we put that there and we got soft clothes, ladies and gentlemen. So you got that as well. Also, your cabinets. Look how high these cabinets are and how much space you get to utilize in here. Also, stainless steel appliances. We have the stainless steel fridge right here. We kept the additional storage going up above. And then, guys, this again has a loft in this model. So that is lovely as well. You can see this loft area just goes up to the side, but with the stairs being off to the side of the home, you get all of this ample space to be utilized in 399 square feet. But before we get to the loft, let's take it on back. We'll go right back through here and you'll see that we have the stackable washing machine and dryer. We even have additional cabinetry right here to store things like fabric, softener, etc. And then we can take it back into the restroom, go into the bathroom, and you can see we kept the countertop going here. We have a frosted glass window up above your toilet, and then we have the two additional cabinets right here that will be the linens for your storage. And right here behind me, we have the fiberglass one-piece shower. We chose to keep the uh, glass door off, so that way you can see how much space you have to utilize upon uh, delivery this glass door will go up and be into place. But this right here showcases to you how much height you have in this shower. As you know, if you're subscribed like you should be, Mr. Tiny is six foot one. So you've got about six foot five of ample space right here to be utilized in the shower. Now follow me over into the bedroom. You come right into the bedroom and this one is fun as well. So you can see that you have your mini split AC and heat system here, all controlled by remote. You even have your area right here where we feel the bed is best placed, but you have your option. So you can place your bed right here. We would suggest going with something like a full size bed. You could even go up to a queen if you wanted to fit and accommodate a little bit more space. And we even have a long transom window right here up above your bed area. We have it wired and braced already for you to add your own type of uh, lighting there, whether you want to do farmhouse style lights, you can do modern style lights, whatever you prefer. We even have the built-in storage right over here to the side. This is a first in the 399 square foot models in the bedroom that we've done this way. But what's so great is you have all this space to utilize here, but then you're saying, Mr. Tony, where's the closet? Whew, I don't know. Let's look over here. You see right here, we've got the closet space for you to hang up your beautiful belongings and clothes in there and you can close it back with a traditional style door and this door leads out and we'll take it up to the loft so again guys this is a the Sedona a brand new floor plan that we're showcasing here at recreational resort cottages so these are some features that you're seeing for the first time again let's look at these loft stairs and rails we went with the metal black metal rails going up as well as your handrail. We also have the brown stairs here going all the way up to the loft. And what I love about it is you get the privacy aspect. You can see that it's walled off right here halfway. So that way if you're sleeping, got your mouth all open, counting sheep, yeah, ain't nobody downstairs got to worry about it. But you follow me upstairs so I can showcase how much space this loft is in the Sedona. Now we're in the loft of the Sedona. And I'm telling you guys, I'm just about to sit back and relax and enjoy myself up here in the loft with as much space as you have. And what I love about it is we chose to do carpet in the loft. That is a 50-50 between clients. Some clients like to do linoleum. They like to do plank. Some clients like to do carpet because, again, these lofts are shorter because they do not count as square footage, which keeps the classification as a recreational vehicle, so we cannot raise them to walk around. So with that said, some clients like to utilize carpet because it's easier to crawl around on if needed. Uh, but also, this space works great specifically in the Sedona for storage or sleeping because of the half wall privacy 
right there. So that is completely walled off, completely sheetrocked. So that way, if you placed a bed, a bean bag, you could place storage items, you could put your Christmas lights up there, and nobody that's downstairs visiting would ever know that those are up here in the loft of the Sedona. So you can utilize that, or again, it can be a sleeping space or a hangout or even a small office if needed. You also have the clear story window here off the rear. We chose to go with the outlet on this side and added two small transom windows, square transoms, I should say, on the opposite side. But let's take it down over the rail so you can see the view from the loft to the rest of the home. So right here in the Sedona, you can see how much 399 square feet can go in space. So I'm telling you, this is a great model, a new one of one floor plan that we've showcased here at Recreational Resort Cottages. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tiny Home Tuesday. Again, this is the Sedona model that is a 13 foot wide as well as 30 feet long and it's on sale today for 116 k 116,000, you'll get everything you see that I showcased today besides furniture and decor. So if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Let me know that you enjoyed this video so this video can continue to spread to more and more supporters. Also hit that notification bell and subscribe like you should be so that way you're notified each and every week of every home and video tour that I showcase whether it's a 399 square foot tiny home, a single section home, or a multi-section home. Mr. Tiny does it all for you and if you're interested in contacting me you know what to do. Run over to Instagram at the Mr. Tiny at T H E M R T I N Y. And you can connect with I anytime. I'm selling the Sedona as well as hundreds of other models directly off of my Instagram. So you can contact me day or night and I'll make sure that price is right. And until next time, my name is Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, and I'll see you next Tiny Home Tuesday.